morning in my time zone. I am in East Tennessee um, near the Smoky Mountains by Teleco Lake. And I'm really hoping you can hear me. Um, it's a very breezy day. The wind chimes are going. So, oh, and the dog is barking. Um, so I'm going to try and raise my voice so you can hear me. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a short little practice this morning um, for some sun salutations to greet your day and open up your heart and really warm up and loosen up your shoulders. Um, so if you're in the mood for that, just roll out your mat and we'll get started. So I'd like you to start on your back. So find your way to your back. Um, we'll do a reclined butterfly or a supta baddha konasana. So the soles of your feet will be together, knees wide as you recline on your mat. So see how this feels for you. Sometimes um, if you're kind of a little tight in your hips, this might not be accessible right away. So adjust the distance that your feet are from your hips to make sure this feels good. You might be able to draw them up uh, maybe you have to push them a little further away from you towards the end of your mat. Uh, or maybe right now, today, this isn't accessible this morning or whatever time you're doing this, and you want to extend your legs um, in a Shavasana pose. So um, do what feels good for you um, and what your body is asking for today. So I'll start in the reclined butterfly. So my, the soles of my feet are together knees are wide and I really want to spend a moment just connecting with your heart space um, and your breath so maybe put one hand on your lower belly so that you can breathe into your palm so with every inhale you're sending your breath sending your prana your energy into your palm and then take the other hand and put it on your heart and just try to connect your breath and your heart space for a number of breaths before we start our practice. Maybe noticing how your body feels this morning maybe even letting go of some some thoughts that are invading coming in that uh that no longer that won't serve you today just allow yourself to brush off um any emotions and thoughts um, for the next you know however long it takes us um, to allow yourself just to settle into your practice Maybe think of one thing that you're grateful for today. Even better if it's coming from something that you love about yourself, something that you're grateful for, um, for, your, for your body, your life. Now on your next inhale, you can take your hands to the outside of your legs and just draw your knees up and then maybe draw them in towards your chest to give yourself a little hug. Just a gentle practice this morning. Maybe bringing your knees in towards your heart and then out towards the outside of your mat. Noticing how that starts to warm up and open your hips. And then to get ready to sit up, maybe we'll grab the back of our thighs. You can sit up any way you want, but I like to rock and roll a little, it kind of massages my spine. So just take a few rolls if that feels good. And we'll meet sitting up on our mats. So staying connected with that breath deep into your belly and also just imagine your heart is open and receptive to whatever the day might bring this morning.
So on an inhale, we'll inhale our palms all the way up to the sky, really reaching tall, so feeling that length through both sides of your rib cage here, finding that length. And then dropping one hand down towards the mat and allowing the other one just to fall over to the side. So really stretching through that side body and maybe play around a little bit. Maybe draw your shoulder forward so that you can stretch into your back body a little bit, your ribs, looking down at your mat. And then spiral your shoulder up and back. Open your heart. See if you can heart, shine your heart to the sky. And on the next inhale, come all the way to center again. Really reach up, reach towards the clouds, which I see floating by above me. And then drop the opposite hand down and go ahead and slide on over. Next inhale, come all the way back up. So take this right hand to the opposite left knee here. The left hand comes behind. Think inhale nice and tall, and exhale twist and look over your left shoulder. Real gentle twist, We're not, we haven't really warmed up too much, but try and keep your spine nice and tall so you're pivoting on a real vertical axis here. Next, inhale, both arms come all the way back up. Sweep up the air into your palms. And then exhale to the opposite side. Remember, inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. And exhale your palms through heart center and we'll meet in a tabletop position. So you might roll over your knees and find your tabletop position. So a little bit of weight into your uh, tops of your feet so you can kind of feel that engagement through your core, really pressing into your palms and your fingertips, drawing up your lower belly here. Neck is neutral, so we have a nice neutral spine here. Your tabletop position. And on an inhale, you can drop your rib cage towards the mat and look up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, roll through your back, sending your back ribs up towards the sky, head drops down. And do a few more rotations of that on your own breath, your own pace. So inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. next rotation we'll meet in our tabletop position moving to downward, our first downward facing dog I sure hope you guys can hear me with this wind <laughs> so if you want to step your hands forward about one little step curl your back toes under that sets you in a pretty good alignment to send your hips up into our first downward facing dog so allowing yourself some organic moving movement here not trying to strike the perfect downward, downward facing dog the first moment. So pedal your feet, maybe rotate your hips a little bit. And eventually really pressing into your palm, externally rotate your shoulders, send your chest through to your upper thighs. Now to prepare to move our right foot up between our hands, 
really going to try and find some lift here so that you cannot don't have to use momentum to do so. So if you inhale your right heel up, I'm in my three-legged dog. What I'm going to do is get up onto my left tiptoes and I'm going to draw my knee in as if I'm trying to touch my nose. So I'm finding lift here. With that lift, I'm creating space to step forward. So once I've stepped forward and make any adjustments so that your knee is right over your ankle, then you can drop down to your knee and onto the top of your foot. So from here, just go ahead and lift up. So you're finding this lunge position, all these right angles. And inhale both arms up to the sky. If your knee is a little bit sore, if it's much, you can always fold over your mat and kind of cushion your knee a little bit. Or a blanket or anything. So inhale and reach. And as you exhale, bring your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. And then send your, your, your fingers towards the mat and open up your shoulder. Open up your chest, <laughs> heart space. your hands, bring them down to either side of your foot, and send your hips back and allow your foot to flex. So now you're really stretching through your hamstring and foot is flexed up so toes are coming, kind of coming towards your heart. Inhale and lengthen and exhale over this front leg. So really sending your heart, open up your chest here and see if you can't send your heart down. Not so much nose down, but your chest. So then you can shift forward and you're gonna plant your left hand right on the instep of this right foot. And as if you're pulling a bow and arrow like Katniss in Hunger Games, you're gonna open on an inhale and reach that right hand to the sky. Always the option here, if you want to take it, you can stay in this with back knee lower, but if you want to lift it, just curl the back toes under and lift up that knee. One last inhale as we reach as high and wide as we can. Wingspan as wide as an eagle. And then bring that right hand down to prepare for our first chaturanga sequence. So we're going to step our right foot back. So option to stay in this uh, up on toes in this plank position. Always you can come down to knees, it doesn't matter, either one. Um, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna shift your weight forward a little bit and you're gonna keep your elbows nestled really close towards your rib cage as you exhale and lower yourself all the way down. From here, little to no weight in your hands, inhale to a baby cobra. And then exhale and push yourself up and back to downward facing dog. As we prepare to do the other side. So inhale, left heel up. Up on your right tiptoes, create space, knee towards the nose as you step forward. The sprinklers have just come on too, so we'll have that sound also. <laughs> so lower your right knee. And then come on up to your lunge. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Maybe interlace your fingers the opposite way that you did last time so it'll feel a little weird. And then really open up, draw your shoulders down and back. Open up your chest space. The wind is now sending all of that sprinkler water on me, so it's refreshing, refreshing morning. <laughs> Release your hands, bring them down to opposite sides of your front foot, your left foot here, and draw your hips back, flex that left foot.
then shift forward. Now right hand just hugs right in here next to your left instep. And you're going to open left. Always the option to raise the knee, just like the other side. Inhale and reach and bring it down. Step it back. We'll take another chaturanga. So you'll shift your weight forward, whether it's toes or knees. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll find the top of our mat. So send, take a little walk, just up to your hands. Enjoy a forward fold. So allowing your head and torso and arms to hang heavy. Ragdoll it up. So just let your arms and head hang heavy as you roll up. Inhale both arms up to the sky. And again, exhale them behind you. So you're going to interlace your fingers again. Open up. So really sink those shoulders down. Let your shoulder blades behind you just kind of nestle in towards each other. Maybe a little bend in your knees here. And as you exhale, allow your chest to fall towards your legs and allow your fists to come up towards the sky. And on an inhale, draw yourself back up and release your hands. Or to Dasava. So fingertips are reaching towards the mat. Belly is pulled in and up, so you're nice and tall. Spine is straight. Moving into our sun salutations. So we're going to inhale both arms all the way to the sky. Be nice and tall here. And exhale, dive all the way down to your mat. So forward fold. We'll inhale to a halfway lift, so maybe your hands stay on the mat, maybe they come to your shins, maybe they come up towards your tops of your thighs here, whatever feels good to make that flat back. So finding length, serve, uh, neck is neutral here, looking straight down at your mat. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to your plank. And you can take your uh, chaturanga here, your vinyasa. So you can go ahead and exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog, if that's in your practice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel up to the sky. Find space, so go up on your tiptoe, draw that knee in, and step forward. Once you find your stable foundation, so your feet are not on a balance beam, they're like on two little skis. Then you can inhale to crescent lunge. Nice crescent lunge. Make sure you're on axis here so everything is nice and folded in and tall. And as you exhale, draw your elbows out to the side of you. Back palms, back of your hands, drawn to the back of your mat. Open your heart. And inhale back up. Exhale all the way through your chaturanga. So you'll step back and exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel up towards the sky. Step it forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up. Just feel like you're just shining your heart, the light from your heart, straight out into the universe, into your day. Then inhale back up. And exhale through your chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll find the top of our mat. Inhale, up onto your tiptoes. Yeah. Exhale, bend your knees. Step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then scoop your arms wide as if you're scooping up the air into your palms. Nice and tall, and exhale through heart center. So we'll pick up the pace a little bit and do that two more times. So inhale all the way to the sky. Exhale all the way down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale through your Tataranga. So stepping back and exhale through. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel up. With your core, with control, step it forward. And inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale up. Exhale down, stepping back and all the way through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel up, step it forward, inhale crescent lunge, exhale open your heart, inhale up, step back and exhale through chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Inhale up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees so you can look forward. Step up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, take up space. And exhale through heart prayer. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Move with mindfulness. Inhale, halfway lift. Find the rhythm and flow. Step back to Chaturanga. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right heel, step forward. Inhale, crescent. Find the dance with your breath as your partner. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Left heel up, step it through. Big inhale to crescent. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bring it down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Up on your tiptoes. Look forward and come up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And scoop up the sky with your palms. I am here. Exhale through heart center. And take a breath. Feel the mat underneath your feet. Reach towards the ground with your fingertips. Notice your spine long and tall. Maybe you're being lifted up through your crown. As you're feeling grounded underneath you, feeling the earth support you. Step your feet wide. Toes will point out a little bit. Hands, hip prayer. Then we're going to inhale our palms up to the sky. 
Bring them behind you once again. Interlace those fingers like we've been doing for practice. Maybe a little micro bend in your knees. Don't lock out your legs here. Inhale tall, and as you exhale, pivot forward and allow your fist to come up towards the sky. Notice that stretch through your shoulders. Then release your release your your hands and bring them both in front of you here. And plant the left one right in front of your gaze and really press up. So now you have a not nice locked out arm, shoulder over elbow over wrist, really straight here. And keeping your hips square, see if you can't open up and reach that right arm towards the sky. Inhale, reach, widen your wingspan even more. And then exhale and bring the right hand down, put it right where the left one was, press into that palm, create that space, and then open left. Inhale, reach, exhale, come down. Now, with your feet, your feet were normally a little bit wide. Now you're going to bring them in just a little bit, but then you're just enough so that you can start to sink down into a yoga squat. So your feet should be as, at least as wide as your yoga mat, probably the toes off the sides, so that you have room to uh, sink down here into your squat position. So I'm in prayer here, and I'm also using my elbows to um, keep my knees tracking out over my toes and also just opening up my hips even more. So also, um, if you're having a hard time doing this, if your knees are kind of, your, sorry, your heels are up and you're kind of on your toes, you can roll up a blanket and put it underneath or even the back of your yoga mat. You can just roll your yoga mat up and slide it underneath your heels, lift those heels up a little bit Another really great option is to take a yoga block and put it underneath you and just sit on it. And give yourself a little bit of height and a little support there. So settle into that moment of gratitude here once again. Connecting your breath and your energy, your life force to your, your sacred heart space. You can stay here, but if you want to add in a twist, we'll take our uh, left hand out towards the outside of this left foot here. So really keeping this braced here so you're kind of staying open. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, back down to prayer. Take a breath. Then right hand comes to the right side of your right foot and open up left. And then come down to center. As I think about what I am grateful for, um, I mean, I have no idea what the quality of this video will be with all these sounds, but I love that it's nature's music. It's um, the birds in the trees right now, even the wind through the leaves, the wind chimes are going, even the sprinklers, the dogs barking. I just love nature and love life. It makes me just smile to be able to share, share this a little bit with you. So I'm grateful for, for spending time with you right now, wherever you are in the world. So from here, we're just gonna sit down. So you can bring your hands behind you and sit down on your mat and extend your legs long. So sit up nice and tall here. So flexing your feet, so engaging your quads. 
So see if you can bring your left hand to the outside of this right leg. So it might be right here, might be shin, it might even be the outside of that foot. So finding where you can, <laughs> where you can reach here comfortably and still be able to open. So bring your right hand to your sacrum. So find that twist here, really opening up and twisting through your whole torso. And maybe reaching that right hand behind you. And on the exhale, come back to center. We'll do the other side. So find, and this side might feel different. Usually your sides are not the same. So just kind of finding out where you're going to be able to twist on this side. Finding length so you can twist with your torso. Exhale to center. Our last heart opener will be fish pose. So if you bring your hands behind you here, actually kind of underneath your um, underneath your hips. So you can start this from laying down, um, which is a little less core strength needed. Um, but if you nestle your hands underneath your hips here and start to lower, and eventually your elbows will touch the mat. And then open up your heart, pressing into your elbows, and let your head drop down. Then inhale, and look at your toes. And then slowly just lower yourself all the way down. Release your hands from underneath your hips. Bring your feet nice and wide. Palms facing up. Return to that awareness and connection with your breath and with your heart. Settle into a feeling of gratitude and love for for yourself and your life and being open to receive love from others. Feeling courageous and brave to shine the light of your heart out into the world where so many people need it. Welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. But from me, with my heart full and grateful to spend some time with you guys all over the world, I wish you love and peace and joy on a new day. Namaste.